Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights between JDG and NIP during the upper bracket round two phase of the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Gold on either team, it's a tie to start us off. What a novel idea. Not seen many ties at level one, and Shanji doesn't want to keep it as a tie. Slandre chased away, ghost for ghost there. And Aki gets onto the chickens here, just trying to deny Kanavi in the early game. Rek'Sai so weak at the level one, and NIP want to punish it as Duo moves over as well from the top side. The lane swap up there as Kanavi's trying to get onto things. The knockup goes wide though. Kanavi one HP flashes, and Aki takes first point. Yagao answers though as Shanji went down two. Oh my god, it's tense to start us off. Honestly, I feel like JDG should feel content with that one, considering that they had less members on the top side. Oh no. They want to they wanna catch off Landre too. Okay, no. Trying to find more. Missing. It's going to be there. Aki goes into the jungle here, but he might have gone too deep for this one. Dwarves in the area. But there's a gold card. Missing. He'll follow up. There's not a huge amount of damage here, but it's level oh, one, so it doesn't gone. really matter. He's stuck against the wall. And it's another free. <laughs> NIP, just like last game, right? Trying to find so much through their 2v2 with the aggressive picks that they have, but JDG really just have not been a team to give over opportunities. Kanavi wants to dive in the top side. Flandre does just take a bit of a punch in the face from Shanji, who starts to run away, but the flash from Kanavi to get the knock up doesn't quite set up. Flandre Ooh. will tank a tower shot, and he goes down one for one. Well played, Shanji. Shanji ends up getting one. You did deny a lot of CS, but it looks like Kanavi. Oh, oh Rookie flashes for it. He wants to finish the job beautifully done by the NIP solo lanes. JDG finally denied a play. They deny the play, they find kills themselves, and while that was going on, Aki was even able to pick up One. the first... Shanji's in lane, all normal fare so far, it feels like. Rookie slides on forward, Flandre, can he dodge? The flake back from Rookie, the stun comes on through, the follow-up is there, and Aki grabs the kill. Now diving the bottom side, but the double knockup comes out from Joel, and missing forced away, Kanavi underneath the towers, ruler surviving! Joel, barely any HP, it looks good for JDG, as ruler grabs another. So we see teams making aggressive plays on opposite sides of the map. NIP able to get something going in topside, but JDG just enabling Ruler even more. Gonna be able to deny. As, uh, immediately, Shanji wants to change that fact. He goes in onto Flandre. No summoners available. Ghost about to come up for Flandre, and he might have to use it immediately. There we go. Stun, not quite in range. Shanji keeps on chasing this one down. Kanavi arrives on the scene, but I'm not sure that Shanji cares, but he should, because Flandre's walked away. Oh. Shanji chasing for more. No way, he actually gets it. Shanji finds a solo kill, and Kanavi's three levels down. I'm not 100% sure if he wins this 1v1. Doesn't even have his ult. Yagao and Aki arrive on the scene. Shanji walks away. An absolute daylight robbery is yeah, a this one. So Kanavi moves back in. We'll be able to finish this last grub off. So JDG grab two for themselves. This is the four of NIP. And NIP getting four grubs as well as that first Drake is a good start when it comes to objectives. The problem is they're a thousand gold down. Yeah, and both teams actually wanting to fight Wait. over the scuttle. We're still going. Whoa, force the flash away. Yako just dives on in. It's a bit of a massacre so far, but Shanji wants Ruler's to turn it alone. around. Still four strong for JDG. No way for Rookie to get into the play here. And Shanji just ain't that tanky yet. Whoa, gets the knockup. Yakao there as Rookie's behind enemy lines. And Votic dives on to Ruler, but Ruler is too tanky. He survives and now dives forward. Whoa, to fall as well. And everything going the way of JDG. Gaming! Kanavi finding the action, setting up Ruler to really take over. Yigao doing similar things that we've already seen on the Azir with the Emperor's Divide. And sadly for NIP, it's uh, looking a little bit muted. They might be able to find Flandre once again, but we've seen what is even finding kills on Flandre really even turn into? The game! Look at the items! <laughs> the Look at the items! Up at 14 minutes into the game. He gave three of the best of five. I mean, it's just something else, isn't it? JDG. They want to keep themselves alive in the bracket, but will they be able to? The CC chain is good onto Ruler. That's one kill. Shanji with a shutdown, but it's only one kill for NIP. Oh, JDG thinking about going back in. They need to be careful. Rookie is Weaver's Wall. Would really be able to make up the distance quite easily. Not even going to need it. Would actually be able to make his way over now. 
Well, we went down though, so main carry not here for JDG, but they don't seem to mind as missing looks for an engage. This time he's flicked back, forced to flash away. Damage coming out on Flandre against three players here. And Kanabi diving in for more, but Aki's on the plane. Kanabi's gone a little bit too deep for this one. Perhaps a chance for NIP. A second kill as the Weaver's Wall comes out from Rookie. But oh. Yagao just puts him into the team. Another mistake punished by JDG. Yagao sacrifices his own life to make the play happen as Flandre gets a cold card out. Hook comes through from missing and here comes Roller to turn the play again. JDG, no matter what, they can't be stopped. JDG, charge underneath the tower and Roller finds his reward. Man, JDG are feeling it. These look like the type of plays you make when you're 2-0 up and you are just feeling incredibly confident and they actually- Outside. But like, you know, you always see the coach talking to the players after the draft is done, and you assume that they're talking about different prios and the kind of pathing we're going to take in the end game and this sort of stuff. I feel like the entire conversation was give no quarter. I don't care if they've got a better early game composition. Fight them for everything. And it feels like it's Ooh. been working for JDG. <laughs> they were they were really <laughs> hoping to chase and I be down. The splash. The advance X splash is back. <laughs> We actually saw we actually saw uh, Yagao jump over the one. I thought, oh, they really want this, but just gonna end up committing for the Herald, trying to get information on where NIP is to make sure they're doing this one safely. And, ooh, we'll see if this opens up a window to fight. Yeah, he does. just has his own TP, so could be a switcheroo here. Missing, caught out, and just accepts his fate there. I'm not sure he had a choice but to accept his fate, to be honest. Aki grabs that kill. The Herald taken though. They are still, you know, three, almost 4K down. Going to try and find a huge play on mid. To die from both sides. Look for the dive, put the knock up stone line. Ruler with a cleanse. The blast code pulls him into the danger, though. And Ruler falls once again. NIP finding yet another chance. The mid lane wave not quite under the tower, so they can't finish the objective yet. And it will mean that they back away. No, moving back into the mid lane here. Can I be trying to defend? Finn Pryo in the mid lane with Yagao's passive. I like Rookie going off to the angle. He, he did manage to pick up the death caps. We're gonna have a lot more damage. Knock up, Skalor onto Missing, but the aftershock keeps him alive. And Kanabi's onto the back line. Missing walks away with his life. Is Aki threatening as well? But Aki's gone too deep. Both junglers taken down. And now we're in an even position. Missing solo on HP, but some of the carries on NIP. That's the big thing, right? Like, Missing's low, but Votic being one of the ones to take big damage in that last fight. NIP still feeling confident. Rookie might surprise them. Nice flick back, Flandre chunked out pretty heavily! Ooh. And Rookie flashes for a solo kill in the middle of the fight! And now the Weaver's Wall, his ruler will be the next target, trying to get out with his life. Yago trying to save his AD carry, but there's nothing to be done. Double for Rookie as he takes to the stage. The all-star of the mid lane keeps NIP alive! It really feels like we might be overhyping this guy sometimes, but he is consistently making these big hero plays for NIP. It's good to see they were able to translate it into a team fight win and into a soul point. They're finding Mojo right when they need it, Bunch. And it feels so poetic that you see Rookie making a pop-off play and then Juo as he recalls, Bowland's signature <laughs> appears once more. We're back to 2018 Rookie right here today. Six, two, and four on the Talia, making the plays to keep NIP in this. I love it, makes his way around. JDG not gonna expect this to come through again. The seismic shoves today, it, he might be down 0-2 right now, but his seismic shoves have been gorgeous. And then he keeps just following it forward with the rest of his squad there to make sure that the kills are able to go through. We're gonna see Yigao try to do his best to make sure that they can get away to safety, but with Rookie denying that path with the Weaver's Wall, there's just nowhere they can go. Beautifully done. Rookie grabs a triple. And what a moment for him. Desperate to test some of that vision. Yeah, at least at least get again a defensive vision line down in their own jungle, but they're gonna be punished. Missing the target, another great hook out from him, but it's not gonna be enough. The aftershock keeps him alive for a moment. A ruler just doesn't have the damage to answer. A great pick for NIP. And now Destiny being used too, so they can actually just peel onto the spare, and you're not gonna have to worry about that that vision tool being there. And now JDG forced into such an awkward situation. 
Feels like they've been the ones doing the Baron all series long now. An opportunity for NIP. Aki to start the fight, Flandre, the target for the charm. Lands onto Ruler, he dashes out to safety, but abandons his other carries. That's two, as Fotic dives into the mix, but he's gone too deep, and Ruler's set up now. Shanji chased out of the jungle alongside Kanavi, Ruler. Dodging away from the knockback from Rookie, and it's enough to stop NIP doing Baron. And it's so sad for NIP. I mean, the one Both guy... This is full carnivore rookie with a decade yeah. second item, like the polar opposite approach to mid lane right now. Mid lane prio, though, in favor of JDG, and Drake is spawning. NIP would love to get this soul. You can see JDG not being too stressed about it. They still have Flandre pushing up in topside, but you would imagine after this push, start making your way oh. down. Another flick back from Rookie. Big damage coming out from him. Konami looks for the knock up, but Rookie flashes. Flandre's behind enemy lines, but Rookie turns golden and keeps himself alive. Flandre the target out, but he turns golden. And JDG trying to stay alive, but Ruler's taken down. NIP keeping the dream alive. Yago will fall, and that's Infernal Soul. And NIP finally do it. They finally put JDG in a desperate enough position to where the team fighting didn't look clean. The cohesion wasn't on point. The amount of stress they put on them was huge. Now look, actually in the base. I mean, Rookie very specifically in the base of JDG before turrets even going down. Yeah, are they going to end the game right here? It's a really staggered death timer for missing. They've got five seconds till Konami's up. Ten seconds on Ruler and Flandre. They've got a minion wave and they've got a Tristana. NIP are just going to end the game. They're desperate to finish this one off. Konami wants to get Tess, but denied by Aki. The tower's full. Ruler arrives, but it's too little and too late. NIP keep themselves. These were some of the best highlights from the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs matchup between JDG and NIP. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.